many donations? I have 183. Doesn't it take like 2,500 or something stupid to get the Miracle Fossil Rock? Isn't it just like a dumb amount? Yeah, Miraculous is 2,500. There's no point in getting a Wondrous one. 2,500 for a Miraculous. I just don't see that happening in this playthrough. Although I think someone, it might have been a YouTube comment, but I think someone said that if you like excavate a fossil and it gives you, um, you get a 100.1 and it's one you've already done, then you donate it for like 20 points. So like, if I could get a bunch of easy fossils that give 20 points per, it, theoretically it wouldn't be that difficult to grind up to 2,500. I might end up, if, if we end up getting to like the game is almost over and I just need one miraculous fossil rock and that's the one that I'm guaranteed, like, hey, I know how to get this. It doesn't involve RNG of finding one in the wild. Then that, that might be an option. Maybe even something I do off stream, potentially. Yo, just take these three fossil rocks. I'm sick of looking at them. All right, I'm loaded. Uh, buy me some buster probes. I'm low. Yeah, just max me out, whatever. Actually, wait a minute, I shouldn't do that. There's always the possibility that you're going to sell a miraculous one, because I've seen you sell a super one before. I didn't mean to go to sell, I meant to go to fossil rocks. I shouldn't get myself that low on money. Tanstro. 38,400 for this giant one? Lagia, Maya, Hipsy. Chat, is this another snake? Oh, but there's no way to know if it's neutral, though. If it's not neutral, then I wouldn't want it. I was thinking if it was just like a better Tophus, then like maybe we should buy it, actually. Because I don't need that much more money for it. All right, let's go turn in the two dropping fossils we have, which is not gonna get us another reward, but we'll get us closer to the next one. And then we're gonna go to whatever it is I'm thinking of. We're gonna go to the story thing. I wanna do the next bit of the story before stream is over. Oh, that's right, I need to actually put Krona in my team. Yeah, I still have the Plesiosaurus, don't I? Three more, huh? Honestly, three more might be the, like, the upper limit of how many more we even get in this playthrough. <laughs> we might, uh... We might finish the game before we get more than three more. All right, get out of here, you disappointment. Get in here, Krona. Excellent. Where do you want to go? So much for not spending all your money? I didn't spend any of my money. I still have it all. The petrified woods. All right, here we go. I just got the word from Joe. You're free to enter. Yeah, get out of my way, lady. Who do you think you are? You're not even worth speaking to me. Well, why is the? It's just like the camera is so zoomed in here. Is this place also just gonna be chock full of rocks? It sure is. Just absolutely chock full of rocks. I mean, this rock mechanic really did not exist for the first, like, 15 hours of this game, more or less. They just, like, hard loaded it at the end of the game.
You were thinking about it? Oh, so we blame people for what they're thinking about now? I would hate to see a court of law under your jurisdiction. This is a cool looking area, by the way. This is a very cool looking area. Oh my goodness, not a rock? Unheard of? Ooh, hello. That rock perfectly matched the ground it came out of. <laughs> they really did just say, like, hey, the last three areas only have rocks in them. What a weird way to design the game. May as well just stop digging in these areas, honestly. Where am I supposed to go? Further this way? I'm not going in a circle right now, am I? I think I am. Presumably I need to go back to this tree. Oh, I could have gone up right here. There we go. Into the tree! Oh, can I climb the vine? That's cool. Can I? Hello? What? Oh, the, okay, it's very finicky. Very, very finicky. I'm up here now. Oh, the thing is probably here and I just need to dig it up. Where could it be? Surrounded by all these rocks. Da, 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 da. Must be this one. Nope. Is it this red one? It was the red one. I found it. Alright, that was easy. Well, look who's back and with a bit of treasure to boot. I thought there'd be like a boss fight or something. That only took like two minutes. Well there, little partner, I reckon it's time to squeeze the calcium out of you. Let's get a move on, shall we? Joe extracted calcium from the Sardinosaurus fossil rock. What the heck is a Sardinosaurus? Is that like an actual dinosaur? Hold up a second. Sardinosaurus. Chat, when you Google Sardinosaurus, it brings up the cloudy with a chance of meatballs wiki. Sardinosaurus is the 27th episode of season two of Cloudy the series? They made a series out of Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? That got a, like a cartoon spinoff? No one told me about this. Like, the third thing to come up is a GameFAQ thing asking about how to find it in Fossil Fighters. What? What just happened? All right then, partners. This here's the calcium injector. According to the professor, we gotta drive this into the spinal pillar at the seafloor. I got Stella standing by with a sub, so y'all get down there and... Uh-oh. Oh, howdy, Stella. What's wrong? What? Somebody's wrecked the sub engine? Possum spit? Them dang BB Brigade boys are one step ahead of us. We only have one one submarine? Something in my throat there. Oh, hey, that's a great idea. Oh, we're gonna use the Bone Hemoth. We can use the Bone Hemoth. Yes, of course, the Bone Hemoth would be able to get us to the seafloor with ease. Of course, it might not be quite that simple. Perhaps we should ask Robinson for advice. How? So, like, when the Bone Hemoth gets you to the ocean floor, how will you then, without being, like, drowned or crushed by the underwater, like, how would you get out of the bone hemoth wall at the seafloor to inject the calcium into the thing? 
Like, I, I don't think you've thought this through. Well, heck, I can't believe how quick y'all are on your feet. Can't say as I understood the plan fully, but if y'all think it'll work, then I'm for it. Just get down to the sea floor and inject this calcium into the spinal pillar. Yeah, all right, sure. We'll pretend that this makes sense. Good luck, partners. I don't need to tell you what happens if you fail. I'm gonna get ready. Okay, when you're ready, we'll meet at the Bone Behemoth. Yo, can we, like, leave Todd at the ocean floor, though? I'd love to see him just, like, explode. Well, honestly, let's just- let's just go do this. Let's go make it happen. I assume I just need to go- you can go to the Bone Behemoth at Ilium Island, so I assume we just go there. What's up, losers? The gang's all here. I guess it's back to Fish Gut City for us. Am I gonna have to beat up Lord Tonzilla again? Well, shake my fins and call me Flappy. What brings you landlubbers back here so soon? A spinal pillar? You mean that big old thing holding up the islands? That doesn't... <laughs> yes, we need the Bone Behemoth to take us there right away. Is that possible? Can't say as I've ever done it, but I suppose it can't hurt to try. Now we tickled this here spot, the whale dives deeper. What? Let me give it a try. This dude has figured out what parts of the bone behemoth to tickle to get it to move like a car. That spinal pillar is a ways down, so we gotta dive this beastie a bit deeper than usual. You there, greenie. Huh, me? Yep, you son, get over here and help me tickle this here whale. Let's feed Todd to Tonzilla. Sweet, I'm good at tickling. Todd, no you aren't. You're not good at anything. Now listen up, beneath each one of these islands is a cave that'll take you to the spinal pillar. Seeing as how we got three islands here, where do you want to go? I suppose it makes sense to split up. Todd needs to stay here and help Robinson with the bone behemoth, so... I'll take Cranial Isle, Pauline can take Ilium, and Solo will go to Ribular. I want to do Cranial. But like, is there like a cave we're going into? How are we, and is the cave like, does the cave have an air pocket? How are we gonna get out of the bone behemoth? Righto, we're resting right outside Ilium Island's seabed cavern. Oh, there's a cavern with an air pocket, uh, lucky us. I guess this is my stop, how do I get out? I don't wanna fight Lord Tonzilla again if I don't have to. Not to worry, little miss, you don't have to fight the Lord no more. Turns out the bone behemoth opens his mouth whenever you give Lord Tonzilla a little tickle. Well, what you waiting for, get going. Wish me luck. I hope you die. This here's the seabed cavern near Ribular. Once you're out, just walk forward until you run into the spinal pillar. Yeah, all right. Rupert and Pauline should be close by now. I'll stay here and tickle the bone behemoth so it stays calm. Good luck. How does tickling it keep it calm? Does it, I thought the tickling it made it dive. I'm here. Are there any fossils down here? Got some bone brigade idiots up ahead. Yo, Dark Fossil Rock. A new water fossil rock. A sinister feeling fills the air. Yeah, whatever. Come on, you lazy dogs. Dig as if your life depends on it. You got it, boss. Soon the spinal pillar will snap and the Caliosteo Islands will be gone. Good thing I stocked up on skinny jeans before all the stores were flooded. I hate this game. I hate the characters in this game, let me be more accurate. What? Who's there? Seriously? You know, I have to admit I'm almost impressed with you. Every other fool on this island is running in terror from us, and yet here you are. Not bad, my man. Not bad at all. But no matter how much I dig your style, I can't let you interfere when we're so close to victory. Prepare to get your rear end handed to you. Brother, I've beaten, like, the Bony Brigade at every single turn. Yo, can I just have B plus Sayo as my water, dude? Alright, two fire, one water. Water is weak to wind, fire is weak to water. Man, I wish that my evolved water dude had been better so we could use him here. 
I think I'd rather bring Lugmos and just kill the water Bonisaur ASAP instead of bringing Tophus. I think that's the way to do it. The fate of the world hangs in the balance! No one told me that! Why wasn't I informed about this? The Triceratops reminds me of Shroom sometimes. It's got like the same humor. All right, I basically just want to kill the water one ASAP. All right, I killed the water one ASAP. No wonder the BB Brigade like always loses. These people suck. They're so bad. I've just realized I think Krona is actually a long range Vibasaur. I probably should have done double... I should have done double support. He has a 300 point attack, calm down, bro. Yeah, that was really good animation for a DS game. But I should have done double support. The uh, Krona should be further back. That'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Law of the Jungle, recover using ally LP. Oh, so you steal HP from one of the other dudes. Whirlpool. I don't want to see Whirlpool, but we should do this to hit fast. Snapping Jaws! That's pretty good. Big 138. I need more FP! Honestly, if you could somehow kill Jugmos, that would sort of work out for me. Bony Roar! Well, you're hitting all of us with a 100 FP attack? Wow. I hope that you can, like, get bony sores in the post-game. That seems like the kind of thing that they'd be like, hey, in the post-game, you can just have bony sores if you want. Bony sores are cool. Get him with the bite. Get bit, idiot. Please die to this. Nice. I think I'm going to be 5 FP short, I've just realized, of being able to use the Whirlpool move next turn. That's so upsetting. I want to see the Whirlpool move. Well, if he does a big move that kill, No, he's just going to... I was going to say, if he kills Lugmos somehow here, I'll get to do it. I'm just gonna, like, end my turn immediately. Well, no, I should do a bite. In case the Whirlpool doesn't do enough damage, because I'm almost, like, full on. Is my FP max at? Isn't it, like, 500 now? Nom. Weaken you up a little bit. He's maxed out, oh no! He's just gonna keep roaring over and over again. It will not work in the long term. I think, and therefore I am. But if I do this, I should have the distance advantage, maybe? Whirlpool! Yeah, it's pretty cool. It lived! I don't think I can attack. Yeah. It's because my Krona isn't evolved because the stupid Plesiosaurus was a bad evolution. That's so upsetting. Bear tactics, huh? You're not a bear. You're a dinosaur. You would crit, you scumbag. My Nick, though, no! Anyways, Krona. Get us out of here, bro. Snap, snap. That'll do it. Yeah, this dude sucks at his job. He deserves to drown. Yo, rank up, Pog Champ. Give me those gains. 
Yo, Ace is so strong, my dudes. Who is not ranking up from this fight? My other two team members, it turns out. Such style, such grace, I was actually distracted by your battle skills. I'm not used to being beaten in battle or in beauty. Dude, you lose in beauty literally every day. I've lost my style and without that, I'm nothing. I think I left the iron on. Yeah, that's it, the iron. 